Simon says, touch your nose. Simon. Simon says, I have a question about streaming a Teams meeting. Is that possible? If so, how do I do that? I tried to do it through YouTube Studio yesterday, but Teams didn't start to send, even though I added key as well as URL from YouTube Studio. So I'd say this, Simon, um, I, you know, from some of the other things that you've tried, like the, the model, what you're trying to accomplish, but you need to do it through a third-party tool. And you could use something like, um, uh, uh, like OBS uh, to, to go and set up. And so it's basically, it's the, the open source broadcasting uh, software. It's free, uh, but you need to go and set that up with all your screens, do all that, like any other live streaming uh, uh, software. It's just a free, powerful platform. I mean, it was designed where and there are, there are like small public channels that run their stations off of OBS. I mean, it, so it can do quite a lot. Um, but, and so that's just something as simple as you set it up, you have it so it's gonna stream your desktop or or this, the browser, you open up Teams, you know, point it to the app and it will just grab that, that meeting, broadcast it live. So anything that you click into, just like sharing your screen, everyone would see that. So share your desktop, share the specific app, share the actual browser window, whatever that you want to do that. So that is possible. There are other platforms are doing that. And there's Restream. I use StreamYard. StreamYard can do the exact same thing. It's just you're sharing your desktop or sharing that, that tab in, in a window. And so you can be in Teams. Everybody just run it like usual. Launch the, you know, go live. And you, you as the host in one of those paid live stream apps, just share that tab. It's as simple as that. So a lot, a lot of people do it. A lot of user groups that broadcast theirs, they utilize these various tools, do the same thing. I mean, the benefit of doing it that way too, is that if you are truly live with the live teams, so you've got a closed circle of people like this participating in the conversation, yet you can then live stream and you can take live chat and questions from your experts, from your panelists. And so it's a great way to yes. quickly go add them in there. Now, having said that, um, you can do that without using Teams, using those live stream platforms. Again, I use StreamYard um, every day. Mm -hmm. And to do exactly that with more control over audio and video quality, uh, over, you know, it does the transcripting. It can do all those other things. But the answer to the question is, yes, it's possible with these other tools. Good to know. I wondered. Yeah, I, I, I thought know. about it a few times, like with my user group. Should I have it where? Because I have to load it to yeah. YouTube anyway. So I'm kind of like, should I try? I mean, I had the OBS, but um, you know, and I've used it to to do recording with like full on studio production where they've come in and set me up, and I had to sort of get my head around it. But I went back in trying to use it. You know, a couple of months later, I went, oh, this is just. <laughs> It was a little too complex for a little lol end yes. user me. It was like, oh, even with my hair in a ponytail, I'm not catching any of this. <laughs> well, now we know how to get uh, training. We just call Christian. Yeah, that's it. Exactly. Help, there Christian, help. He just volunteered. I heard it. Yeah, that's it. Well, exactly. I, I know that you can also with Teams Premium. So if you're you oh. doing the webinar uh, live events, you can mm -hmm. also stream that way. Be right um, back. Yeah, and, and I'll be be honest. Um, I tried. I don't know about y'all, but I I tried early on um, using the 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 Teams uh, uh, webinar live streaming capability and just had problems with it, and so yeah. I moved away from that. But yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So, but. I mean, yes, the, I mean, the documentation is there. I know there's plenty of videos, walkthroughs of how to go and do that. So, yeah, you've got options. Uh, if you're you trying to do everything natively, you have options. Excellent news. Yeah.